This is how you can make a simple economy bake and take system for your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from any other videos on my channel, you can go ahead and join a god tier on discord, or you can get a super or god tier subscription on YouTube. We also offer the bot tier on both platforms, which is the full zip file of the exact bot used in the tutorial videos. We also have three bot packages, which are fully coded discord bots based on a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested and with that let's go and get in the code now before we start i'd like to say that this video is brought to you by robojs a file-based framework for discord.js similar to how next.js servers react it lets you create discord bots and activities in seconds as well as web servers and microservices thank you to robojs for making this video possible go ahead and check them out in the description below i've done a video on robojs in the past and they have multiple discord bot templates based off of my videos so you can go ahead and download any of these also in the description below by watching the videos as well. But for today's video, we're going to be using one of their other templates, which you can find under the Discord Bots tab, and it's going to be the Bake and Take one by Waveplay for JavaScript Discord Bots. So this is a system that's very similar to Economy, so let's go ahead and actually test it. So just like any RoboJS project, you're going to go ahead and create a file, and you're going to go ahead and install the project with a robojs npmx command so to do that go ahead and create a new folder on your desktop and go ahead and click in the top bar here within this go ahead and type cmd and go ahead and press enter so now that you're in your terminal what we can go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and run the command under the getting started section of the bacon take site. So what you can actually do is you can copy this because we're going to be using NPM, so you can copy it. You can go over to a new search bar and you can actually go ahead and paste it here. This way we can go ahead and edit the project name without having to do it in our terminal. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this robojs economy. This is going to be the name of the file that we're going to be using. After we go ahead and copy it, we can go back over into the terminal and we can go ahead and paste this entire command. So once we go ahead and run it, as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and install the RoboJS bake and take template. So this keeps it very easy. It's going to download the entire Discord bot along with all of the commands and systems from RoboJS so that we can use it easily. Now that it's all the way downloaded, we have to go ahead and enter some of our information, such as the client ID. To get that, just like any Discord bot, you can go ahead and go to the Discord developer portal. You can go ahead and select the bot that you want to use, and you can go ahead and go to general information and click on the copy application ID. Back in our terminal, we can go ahead and paste this information in. Now it's going to ask for our discord token so again to get this you can go ahead and go over to your discord developer portal you can go over to bot and you're going to see a section that says token you are going to have to reset it and use two-factor authentication if you have it to get the token but once you have it you can go over into the terminal and you can copy and paste it there as well all right so now that i have my token i'm going to go ahead and copy and paste it in here now obviously i'm not going to be able to show that but as you can see here it's going to say that you can manage your credentials in your env file so it's all going to be created and it's going to say your robo is ready so now after we complete this entire process we have a brand new discord bot with all of the files in it that's ready for our economy system so let's go back into our files and immediately we see a brand new folder called robojs economy if you go ahead and click it open here we have all of the files that we need for a discord bot as well as our env which is where our information is stored and we have a readme which provides all of the information on this specific package from robojs so now just like before we're going to go ahead and open up a new terminal because we want to open up the terminal in this actual folder and not the previous folder we were in so we can type in the search bar here cmd and we can go ahead and click enter and then here we're going to do code space dot so now it's going to go ahead and open up our new Visual Studio Code program with the RoboJS economy files that we just downloaded from RoboJS. So you can go ahead and look through all of these files if you want to. We have our ENV, which is where all of our information is stored. You can change any of that anytime you want. We have our Git ignore. So if you wanted to upload this file to GitHub, it would ignore these specific files. And we have our README here, which is going to be basically documentation within your project for how you're going to go ahead and use this bot as well as any other bots you would download. So those of you who are familiar with discord.js this is a little bit different it's pretty similar to discord.js but it has a different way of creating commands using robojs so we use a config here to create a config command with the description we have our options we can do name description required we can even add choices here 
um, and then we can run our command in here. So this is a very simple way of doing it, and it uses RoboJS's built-in handler to do it uh, with this core.js, and it's very efficient. So you can go ahead and look through the three commands that are a part of this economy system. We have bake, check, inventory, and take. So essentially bake, you would create the treat, they call them, that you can then go ahead and take to sell it to get money for your inventory, just like a native economy system that you would build with this core.js. We also have data.js, which is all of the names of the things that you might want to sell. Not only does it have the names, it also has the prices. So if you didn't necessarily like the way that they had set this up, you could go ahead and redo this completely and make, instead of a bacon take, you could do something completely different and sell literally anything you wanted um, in your economy system and rebrand it however you would want. So this is fully customizable. And here we have our ReadyJS, which you can go ahead and use to set an activity. This is very specific to Discord.js. As you can see, they use client.user. Um, and you can go ahead and use discord.js's activity type.custom. So it is pretty similar to discord.js as most of you are already used to. All right, so that's it for the files within our project here. Let's go ahead and open up a new terminal in the top. Now, as you can see in our run development mode, we're gonna go ahead and use the command npm run dev to go ahead and start this project. And as you can see, it's gonna go ahead and say starting robojs economy in development mode. And now it's gonna go ahead and say the changes that are committed. So this is gonna be all the new commands. Um, and it's going to go ahead and say it's on using my bot. So let's go ahead and go over to the Discord server and we can actually go ahead and test this command out. All right, so over in the Discord, we have all of the commands we can use. So let's start by running our help command. Um, and if we just go ahead and send it, as you can see, it's going to give us a uh, description of all the commands that we can use. And I believe we can actually run it specifically with the commands if we wanted to check this one. As you can see, uh, it's gonna go ahead and give us some more information uh, as well as the link we could follow. So now let's go ahead and start in our economy system. Let's check our inventory. And as you can see, we have nothing in the inventory. Now let's go ahead and bake something. We can just do anything random. It doesn't even really matter. Let's just do this one. Um, and as you can see, it's gonna go ahead and bake that. So now if we check our inventory here, as you can see, we have one gingerbread for $2.99. And we still have $0 in our account because in order for us to take this gingerbread and turn it into money, we have to use our take command. So if we were to take the thing that we just made, I believe we should be able to sell it uh, and get that money. So now if we were to check our inventory here, as you can see, we have $2.99 in the account. Now, if we go ahead and take something random, I believe we have to have it in our inventory. So that means we have to bake it first in order to get it in the inventory. Now in our terminal here within Visual Studio Code, as you can see, we have a Discord event every single time we run the slash command um, and it's gonna show us which type of event this is. So that's pretty cool and it's pretty helpful for logs. So let's go over to core and data.js and let's go ahead and change the gingerbread um, to we could do uh, Discord or something like that. And let's set the price to a large number. We don't even, doesn't even really matter. We can just set it to a large number. Uh, and then we can go ahead and save the file. And as you can see in our terminal, as soon as we save it, it's gonna go ahead and say change detected, restarting robo. It's gonna go ahead and update the commands and it's gonna go ahead and turn it on. So now immediately after we go ahead and save the file, we have a brand new change that is committed. So without even having to run the command again in our terminal, we can go back over into our Discord server. And I believe we might have to restart Discord because we changed a aspect of the command. So now that we're restarted, we can go ahead and go back over into our commands. And if we just go ahead and check this, as you can see, we we can now bake a discord and if we go ahead and do that it's going to go ahead and bake it now if we were to go ahead and check our inventory as you can see we have um, a discord uh, for a pretty large price and we could go ahead and actually sell that and now if we were to check our inventory again we have a lot of money in the account so that's an example of how you can modify it and use the built-in developer system to automatically restart the bot every time a commit is saved. So that's how you can make a simple economy system using robo.js. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.